Hi everyone, Daniel here. Today I'm going to be talking about WGU's Web Development Foundations course. So this is course C779. And I'm going to be giving some general thoughts and advice for the class. One thing I like about WGU that I think all WGU students like is that they have their competency-based model. So if you know the material beforehand, you can actually take an accelerated path toward finishing your courses and degree plan. With this class, I had had some experience with HTML and web development. So right when I looked through the course material, as I was browsing through everything, I was like, okay, I feel like I understand this pretty well. I took the pre-assessment just real quick, just to get a sense of like what the questions were. And then I ended up finishing the course within two days, which was nice. So I find that there is actually a lot of good material covered in this course for basic and some levels of advanced web development, which is awesome. So some thoughts I have on the actual like course material, like the online book type deal is that it's actually pretty helpful. There's a ton of background that's given for why web is uh, why the web is structured the way it is, the, its history and then getting into the fundamentals of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which I'm grateful for. I think the WGU material covers a lot. That's actually really good. And even though I finished the course pretty quickly, if I didn't have that foundation from web development from earlier before taking the course, then I would have really enjoyed actually going through the material because I think sometimes the Zy books can be a little bit difficult to read because in my experience, my personal opinion, I think some of the Zybooks material for some of the courses at WGU isn't written in a super readable way. It's written as like a list of facts, which is good. Like it's good to learn the factual knowledge, but one benefit of reading, or I guess what I mean to say is one thing that's really cool is when authors of nonfiction textbooks or other nonfiction works, really do their best to make the text readable, whether that's through a narrative format or something else. And Zybooks often doesn't do that, so I wish they did. But whatever the platform is for this course specifically, I, it wasn't Zybooks for me. That could have changed from when I took it last term, but it was something a little bit different. And wh whoever runs that, they're doing a great job. They should get a race because it, it's actually really... It's, it's pretty good, uh, all things considered. So I'm grateful for that. So another thing, just another thought I have on the course is that it's not, not or rather no aspect of it is going to require you to create a website. So the actual way to pass the course is through an objective assessment. So basically a proctored multiple choice exam, which Definitely is good because you do need to know the material to pass the course. But I think this is actually not ideal for web development because unlike other concepts that I think, uh, or rather unlike other fields of computer science or subdisciplines where having the memorization really comes in handy, maybe with understanding networking concepts with different frameworks for networking. I think web development is something that really helps to have the practice actually coding up a website. So I actually wish WGU did not an objective assessment, but a performance assessment where you actually have to create a website. So at least for this course, that, that would have been good, I think. So getting the practice of actually creating a website is super helpful, I think. And there's a ton of ways to do that in conjunction with the WGU course, but they're not required for the course. So I actually do wish WGU required that for the course, but um, still the objective assessment is a good way to get a sense of where someone's at in their understanding of the factual knowledge. So that's good. So yeah, overall, I'm glad for this course. I think it's overall structured pretty well with the course material being the way it is better than the Zybooks for other courses. But like I said, I think the really major detriment of this course is the fact that it doesn't require the implementation of a 
actual website, even a basic one. So that's something that I super recommend for anyone who maybe doesn't have any background in web development. Definitely challenge yourself to, I would recommend make some sort of even a basic website. And it could be just something for your personal interests. Like let's say you're interested in foosball or maybe you want to make a homepage for your own portfolio like profile website any option that you want to do is great and that can be just a great way to get the practice for really being in the code and understanding the integration live between html css and javascript so those are just some thoughts i have on the course if you have any specific questions about it feel free to comment and let me know i'm happy to answer any questions and thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.